Well, here we are, guys. Monday, the 29th of March. Welcome back. It's the Lasham Daily Briefing. And we're here for the weather. It's been too long without this. A synoptic picture, uh, high pressure over continental Europe at the moment. And um, over the over us at the moment, we're sort of just straddled between low pressure systems and uh, sort of a weaving weather front just to the northwest of Ireland. But over us, some tight isobars, so a little bit windy, but uh, an improving picture with some brightening skies later. Those winds, as I was saying, uh, somewhere in the region of about 210 to 230 degrees. Uh, reasonably strong, I'd say. Uh, surface winds are probably about 15 knots at flight heights, 25 knots. And looking at the satellite picture, it's just sort of a lot of moisture around this morning. Um, and maybe you can actually see a little bit of wave just coming off the top of um, the Brecon beacons there and get going across there. Probably not so much in the way of that down here. But uh, yeah, not particularly great currently, cloud base of about a thousand feet, but that should quickly start to lift once we've got some heating because uh, obviously the last time I spoke to you was December and the sun didn't have much power. Now it is definitely uh, got some power. Public forecast for today. Once it comes up, uh, shows, yeah, improving picture, improving picture, southwesterly winds and yeah, it will drop off during the day, but it will sort of back around to more of a southerly later. But uh, yeah, we will lose this cloud. And top temperature, even though it will feel a little bit chilly with the winds, probably about 15 degrees. And dew points <laughs> of about uh, eight or nine degrees. Currently at Lasham, um, David's weather station stopped working, that's great. Um, so we don't have any of that. So I'll just bring up the Odium meter. Oh. Currently in our area, we have a temperature of nine degrees at a dew point of six degrees, and I said broken about a thousand feet, but looking later in the day, uh, that will clear up. And this is sort of saying scattered 1500, but it will actually go more sort of cab okay later in the day. Okay, soaring forecast. This is the bit that will disappoint you despite us being back. Uh, let's look at 11 o'clock, blue and nothing. Even by two o'clock, very weak thermals, maybe to 1500 feet. It's a very stable atmosphere we've got, uh, but at least it's giving us some uh, flying opportunity today. It's not that sort of uh, howling wind and rain. With the cloud as well, we'll look at that. As you see, nothing in the way of cumulus. Once this low level stuff clears again, just cab okay, nothing particularly uh, marking any thermals. So all in all, uh, a breezy um, day, uh, not a particularly sorable one, but nevertheless, our first day back. And uh, one thing to watch, obviously, wind gradients. A lot of you have not flown for some so many months now uh, that, uh, yeah, think carefully about where that wind gradient is going to be. In fact, it's going to be 25 knots at 1,000 feet, uh, 15 knots at the surface. Um, we'll talk about operational setup in a moment. No TAMs, nothing particularly much in our area. Um, number seven is Solent. Uh, they've got a number of different opening hours. Uh, at this time of the week, we are 10.30 till 5.15 that they're active. That is Zulu, so 11.15 through to 18.15 uh, local. Saturday and Sunday, they are not there. We will discuss sort of being able to operate through there during the weekends. Uh, but for most of the day, Solent is active. Uh, Anything else? Let's have a look. Um, nothing on that. 14. Uh, no danger area crossing service available for Imber, Lark Hill, Bulford and Eversley. And that's generally it. 21, that might be uh, Fairford active. Yeah, Fairford's active all day. Well, at least uh, 4.30. Just remember, everything's in, in, uh, in Zulu and we're obviously now one hour in front of that and probably some parachuting at West on the Green, looking at that. Uh, but uh, at, uh, yeah, so some parachuting at West on the Green too. Okay, operational setup. We have runway 23 in use today. Uh, that'll be departing. Uh, we'll use 27 to return. When we're doing this, um, we're gonna operate on the grass, obviously we're at only now until the 12th. We're gonna operate from up here and across the airfield down to the southwest, and then we'll do northerly circuits onto 27 north side grass. 
We do have a few gliders available today, Baby Grob and K21. And jet movement wise, we have at least maybe one jet movement, but I've not got the time for it yet. Clubhouse is generally closed other than the toilets. Restaurant isn't open, neither is the bar. Uh, a reminder, hand space space does still exist. Uh, a number of you have been vaccinated. Uh, I have actually too, because I work at the vaccine centre, but uh, that doesn't mean we need to uh, break anything down with that, because an outbreak is still possible at Lash. So not, uh, it's not something we particularly want. So yeah, stay safe today. Um, we'll see a lot of you a bit more later in the week once the uh, weather picks up. And yeah, use all the guidance which uh, I've sent out, such as the GASCO and the Managing Flying Risk. It's really useful stuff. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome back, folks.